can't control my anger So I smoke this ganja Her shame was a gangster Rumors spread like cancer When I talk you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is my journey. So today, as you probably guessed by the title, I have been on Amazon. Oh my gosh. So basically, long story short, a lot of this has got to do with the fact that we're on lockdown for one. And no, I just grabbed my titty. <laughs> and two, um, it's got to do with basically if you go back a few videos you'll kind of see that i mentioned that my relationship my household my family whatever we're what gonna call it basically my partner me and him broke up so now i live alone now obviously i have two children childcare can sometimes be a myth uh, my daughter at the time wasn't in nursery or anything she was at home so i basically used to get I get well normally I would get my nails done at a nail shop once a month on that time or that day when I'd go nail shop or whatever my ex her dad would watch her my son would be at school um when we broke up I had no one basically to watch her so I haven't had acrylic nails from I think the last time I went was October. Oh, October 2019. We are now in May 2020. So that's a really long time. Sorry, my hair shape is really bugging me. Um, so yeah, that's a really long time for someone who, you know, goes very regularly. So I decided, like, I well, basically, we got to a point where... Um, I'd, had, I'd got her in nursery, she was starting nursery, she was about to do her first, like, I think it was her second full day, the first full day I kind of stayed near um, the house in case they called and said, oh, she's not liking it, she's upset, so I had to go and get her, so I didn't really do nothing that day, but then the next week was going to be her first full day, and then on the Friday they announced lockdown. Lockdown, the country's in lockdown, the shops are closed. Nail shop is closed. I've been waiting from, like I said, October to when was when was lockdown announced? It, March, 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 Marchish. Um, and I was about to get my nails done, and I was so excited. I was thinking about design, power, glitter, power patterns, glitter, anything. Like I was so excited, yo, to just be found out that the shop is like closed not just the the nails every shop is closed like devastated either way we move it has now brought me to where i am now i've decided that i'm going to invest in doing a nail technician course don't know when probably while we're on lockdown i don't know if i would have done it by now or by the time you're seeing this or whatever but i'm planning on doing a nail technician course i have bought a lot of equipment <laughs> through Amazon I had a phone call um, <laughs> so yeah basically long story short I decided to dedicate my lockdown if you will into learning new skills new crafts and stuff to kind of keep me in the long run long run saving money now I normally spend about hand on heart anywhere between 70 and 100 pound a month on my nails and that includes like pedicure maybe um either a fresh set or um an infill depending on what i'm doing that you know at the time um i like to have like gems on my nails i think i've mentioned that um and stuff like that so the price goes up if you want like gold leaf on your nails if you want this on your nails you want that on your nails the price goes up the price goes up so normally anywhere between 70 and 100 i normally do that's including like feet so pedic i normally do like if i'm doing my feet i would do a whole pedicure i won't just necessarily just do the polish change i like to do everything now i've got all the stuff for a pedicure at home anyway so for as in for feet all i would need is polish like i've got regular regular nail polish but we we're leveling up i needed the gel so this is not one order like this this is just the biggest box that came and i've just kind of kept everything in it until i get a storage box for my new goodies this is really heavy i'm gonna put this down okay so <laughs> 
I'm so excited for this. Like, if you haven't noticed, I kind of, I don't know if you can see that. They're not great. I'm going to be real honest. I think this one's wonky. This one's longer than the rest. But yeah, I've been practicing doing my nails. Um, I've had these on for about a week now. They're, none of them are broken. Um, I did the design myself. I've um, put the gems on myself. There's that one as well. Um, so yeah, the first time I did it, I took it off within two days. Like, the next day. I put it on like on the Thursday evening. Took it off on the Friday. It was like, no. Like, it was so, it was so bad. <laughs> Like, but I've been watching a lot of tutorials, a lot of like acrylic nail tutorials or tutorials and like dip nails tutorials. I did these via dip, so I bought the like the powder and then I dipped it. I'm not gonna do that again. Well, I might do it again. I don't know, but I've actually invested in some other products to kind of not do the dip method because I did it twice now and twice I wasn't 100% sure about it. So, what's in the box? <laughs> Where all my money is gone? <laughs> Like literally all of my money. Oh, this box is so huge and I'm trying to not knock nothing off my table as well. So, some of this stuff I had before. Okay, one of these things I've had before. So I will link everything in the description box below for those who are probably interested in doing your own nails because they're saying that we still don't know, like even though they're saying the lockdowns are easing up now, we have no official time or day when the lockdown's gonna end so you might end up wanting to do this at home and they're talking about a second wave and a second lockdown and whatnot whatnot so girl girl either way i have a packet of these these are you know like when you go to the nail shop and they have the little buff things i'm trying to find the one that's not that's not in the packet that i've already used aha here it is these and they kind of a little buff i think it's a buffer i believe these were relatively cheap but these took like a month to come probably over a month i think i ordered these like the first week of the lockdown and i got them like two weeks ago which was like probably about two months probably about six weeks it took for these to come which is a bit of a long time just seeing if they're just regular regular and it was nothing special and they were like three pound or something like that i can't remember exactly i'm not gonna like mention prices because i've been buying stuff all over the place and yeah but and that's a pack of one, two, three, four, five, ten. Pack of ten of those. Um, I my one of my most recent purchase is I don't know if you can. I don't really want to take it out. Um, oh lord, that's why I don't want to take it out. This is just a nail brush. You know when you go to the nail shop and they use a little brush. These shits are expensive. Like this one, this one little brush was I think $12.99 for the one brush. They go up in price dramatically. Some of the prices on these brushes, that's why I did the dip method because I didn't want to pay for a brush. And some of them was like the sets were like 70 pounds for like a set of five brushes. <laughs> Drop me right out, I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, um, what else did I got? A packet of nail files. Half of the stuff is open obviously because I've been practicing with the nails. So I've got a packet of nail files, these are 100 by 180 grit, um, yeah, I got, oh, this, now, oh. this is literally the drill, oh, I don't want to take it all out, but this is like the file, so you have the, pe like, this goes into the machine, you add your little drill attachment, your little drill bits and stuff. It comes with the drill bits in this little thing here and then it comes with loads of extra I don't know if they're called sandpaper but there's little sandpaper bits loads of extra of those um, it comes with the the pen the plugging the power this is like the where the power comes from and this little purple thing I haven't used this purple thing I think it's to rest the finger on obviously when you're doing it yourself you're using both your hands so you're not going to need something to rest your finger on but that, this was, a, I believe, around £30 I paid for for this. Might have been more, might have been less. Obviously, like I said, I'll link it below. Um, I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy with this. Even if I net, like, this doesn't go nowhere and I end up going back to the nail shop, I know that if I want to do, like, a quick takeoff for whatever reason, I can do it at home. I don't need to go to a nail shop to do a takeoff ever again. So I'm very happy about that one. I also purchased a professional gel polish UV LED nail drying lamp and it literally it came in obviously the delivery box and then it came in just like this brown box 
and it's got like this paper on it this little bag i keep everything like everything i buy new i kind of keep in the bags and stuff until the bags and boxes get really manky but yeah it's just your regular nail lamp it's got the 60 seconds in the 30 seconds and then this one has the low heat i don't like the low heat thing i think it, it doesn't it's not a low heat i'm gonna be real it's fucking hot it gets hot like my fingertips is like oh <laughs> that's uncomfortable so yeah i'm not really a fan of the low heat but i normally use the 60 seconds at each time i do a gel set um a gel not a set what's it called like a coat um again i'm extremely happy with this lamp um it works really well I haven't had a thing where it's not setting properly or it's peeling or I've had to set it more than the required time and stuff. This is really good. And I believe, again, this was about 20, 25, 30 pounds. So I will obviously link it below. Next, we have um, the actual gel polishes. I bought, um, this just come in a box. I, I've, I've ripped it. <laughs> I've used stuff, sorry guys, I've used them. Um, yeah, this I got the, this is in the Beatles, um, the brand Beatles, it's, it's on in, um, Amazon. Um, and that's the base gel and the top coat. They came together. Um, they come, did they come quickly? They come relatively quick. I originally, okay, that was it. I originally ordered this, this one from laguna moon and that's the base coat and the top as well but the delivery on this one i think this was like 10 pounds and this was also around the same price about 10 pounds um but the delivery on this one took so long that i ended up having all the stuff to do my nails but i had no top coat and no base coat so i ended up ordering this one and it came on prime next day so yeah this still hadn't come like a good few weeks later so yeah that's why i have two of those that obviously explains same thing different brands same thing um i got the tips for obviously if you get your nails done you know what tips are they come numbered um and it's just yeah different size fix your finger measure it up um, I actually got the, um, what shape is this? Ballerina shape. I should, I feel like I should have gone with the square shape. Like, you know, when you're in the nail shop and they do square and then they cut, like, what, what, what shape do you want? And they'll cut the square tip into whatever shape you want. I feel like I should have just done that because these are not exactly the ballerina shape that I like. And when you shorten them down, then it turns more into a different type of shape because it's shorter. So I feel like, my best advice is get the square tips and shape them yourself so yeah but i probably will buy the square tips at some point but at the moment i have these ballerina shaped tips um i have some acetone this is this is not from amazon but acetone it's all over amazon this is obviously to remove your tips your, your gel all of that stuff acetone i didn't get that off amazon i think i got one bottle this little one i got from a chemist or this might have been from Superdrug actually and then this one I got from like the hair shop and this was like £1.49 I would say once the hair shops reopen get it from the hair shop it's way cheaper definitely um, next I have um, again from Laguna Moon and I just bought some colours like some gel colours so that's all the colours that are in here I think this box is so cute and it comes like a little, make sure not don't fall out, it's like a little book with the little six colours and it's got like a glitter one and then it's got like the other colours in the little book like that. I haven't used any of these yet. Um, I did white the first time and then I did, and there's no colour on that, that's just the, um, that's just the, the, the acrylic powder with no colour on it. Um, yeah, and then I got from My Lee the brand Miley um, cuticle remover um, I also got oh, I can't even show you guys this because I wrapped it in cling film because it was real real muff and dusty but I've got two of these um, basically this is just acrylic powder um, this is the first this is the first one I bought no I bought this one first 
this just says acrylic and dipping um extension for carving and decoration uh it doesn't actually say what brand is but i just i got this one on amazon and i think i believe that this was like 12.99 this got lost in the post um i had to even look like i requested a refund and then it turned up like two weeks later just so yeah um i ordered this a very long time ago and it took an extremely long time to come and got lost and i had to order this one now as you can see there's a big difference in size yeah this was cheaper this came next day i think it was next day or like two two days two days tops it was quick like real quick um but the only thing is that this that the the, the tub if you like um it's not that secure i don't really want to take it out um i don't even know if you can see it's by neat neo nails it's a uk brand um i think that i believe they're based in the uk that's probably why it came so quickly i'm gonna try and make it so you guys can see you probably can't i'm gonna be real can you see that i don't want to take the cling film off because it's going to get everywhere but um yeah i would definitely say that the, the pot on this is better because it keeps the powder in i don't have to cling this and the pot on this is not that great but you get so much more in this one and it comes quicker and they're the same thing essentially so that's the acrylic powder for the acrylic powder obviously you know like when they put the brush in that purple liquid i did my research it's called monomer or acrylic liquid i bought a bottle of that now this i'm a little bit disappointed about i'm not gonna lie i paid 12.99 for it they had various different bottles of monomer um but this was the one that was like recommended by amazon next day prime da -da 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 -da. and obviously i wanted to do my nails again like ready asap give me the stuff i need so i clicked the one that was on prime the others were saying about two weeks delivery i don't want to wait no two weeks yeah i want my stuff tomorrow tomorrow or same day if i can get it same day i thought this bottle was so much i should have read the dimensions i didn't look how small this is look how tiny this is this is so tiny i mean this is probably to do nails and stuff it probably will last a, a, a few months like it, it will last a while because i'm not trying to pour it all over my hand it's not like nail varnish remover it's literally just to wet the brush kind of thing but this is tiny it's like smaller than it's smaller than like a miniature size it is the same size as you know like miniature alcohols you know you go like oh can i have a miniature and you go to the shop it's a miniature the little tiny one it's basically the same size as that it's really really tiny so i would definitely recommend getting one of the bigger bottles because she's small because the bigger bottles were dramatically cheaper dramatically cheaper <laughs> but yeah this was about oh i can smell it it's about 12.99 it has a really strong smell if you've ever been to the nail shop you will know that smell like as soon as you open the bottle you're like nail shop clear as day um is that it no that's not it for nails i have like this bag isn't it pretty um this bag uh, for anyone who wants to know it's from soul of beauty yeah they come in a pack of three i bought this months ago um yeah i also have bought some glitters i don't know if you can see that like i said i like gems and glitters and all that stuff on my nails so we bought it i bought these before primark even um closed so i bought this before lockdown like primark are not doing some exclusive delivery to my house or nothing like that <laughs> But these are just the gems. And you can see that. And they come in these wheel things. I actually bought these back in December because I tried to do my nails then from a Jordan Lipscomb video. Uh, that did not go to plan at all. At all. But yeah, I digress. Um, yeah, these were... Um, they're supposed to be £2. I got them on sale for one. So I bought like about six of these. And there's two wheels in each. And they've got coloured gems, silver gems different shape gems for when i'm feeling to be you know ratchet and have bare bare gems like right now <laughs> um i got the blue sky in the primer because you have to prime your nails when you're doing acrylics otherwise it can cause like lifting and problems and whatnot like i'm not going to get into it because i'm not a nail tech i will be though <laughs> at some point but um yeah i'm not a qualified nail tech so yeah um i got a, these little tweezers these are supposedly to pick the gems out of the thing i haven't used these yet 
um, you can you can use other things to pick them out you don't necessarily need that um, this is, again is by blue sky I would highly recommend blue sky um, gel polish I really really like them but I like the bottle I like the applicant I like the fact that all the bottles are kind of they all the bottles look the same and then on the top it will have the color I like that it's just clean it looks tidy rather than having bare different colors all over the place um, yeah I just got that in white because I like a white toe um, what else is in here I got this packet of gems I all this is from Amazon as well can you see all those colors in there yeah I can't remember how much this was I got this one back in a few months ago as well but gems again more gems 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 and more gems um, I got a cuticle push pusher like a metal one um, some people say the metal ones are quite harsh but I've never seen a wooden one I also got these I always see these at the nail shop but I never see anyone really using them I use these to take the gems out of the pot I dip the little ball thing in like the glue and then pick up a gem that's what I use those for nothing fancy again more gems these are all from Primark these are the ones that are already opened oh my god there's just glitter everywhere what else is in here is that it okay yeah that's it all the other stuff in there is not from Amazon at all I also bought from Amazon my um this is from K kira kira care this is a styling wax stick um this is for i don't know if it's genuinely just for wigs or if you can use it on your like regular regular hair but ugh, you push it up like from the bottom like that and then you on the wig um yeah i bought a wig and i see people using these little things to lay down all the flyaways and stuff so i bought that um I also bought some satin scarf things from Amazon for this bit when I lay the wig down to lay it and hold it and stuff. This was relatively cheap. There's two in here. I didn't even know there was two in here, but it was very, very, very cheap. Um, and that was from Amazon as well. Um, I also invested in some lashes. Now, now, I don't wear lashes. I've never worn lashes, but I really like the idea of single lashes that's another thing I was going to go and do and then lockdown happened I found the nail tech that I wanted to go to I've like followed her for a bit on Instagram really really like her really, really like her page really really like her work this is who I'm going to kind of thing lockdown lockdown me up like it really did so I decided to buy some strip lashes um now I've never worn any type of lash in my life um mainly because it freaks me out like you're putting glue on your eye like it just it freaks me out but i have as you can see right now i just got mascara on i have extremely short lashes um yeah so i just want longer lashes so i bought this one um to be honest i don't remember how much this was they're really short can you see that but this came with like the lashes and it came with uh like a lash tweezer thing as well so that was from Amazon. I think they, were, they, I believe they were relatively cheap. I wouldn't have spent loads of money on Amazon lashes. So I bought those and then they came and I was a bit like, oh, they're a bit short. They're a bit short. So then I went and bought these, which I really like. I haven't worn them yet, but I really, really like these. These were cheap as well. And then I picked up some um, duo glue to go with the lashes, as you do. Um, what else did I get off Amazon? Oh yeah, so I decided because lockdown is trying to mess me up, I was trying to become a whole new beach. Um, I was planning on doing like wax, lashes, nails, hair, everything. Like everything was gonna be popping. Yeah, lockdown said nah. I don't know who you think you are, but no. So yeah, I decided to invest in oh wow this is a bit of shambles i probably should have sorted this out prior to filming oh my god let me not show that oh jesus i invested in a at home waxing kit <laughs> oh my god now now um this actually got um 
I got inspired by Adiola Patron. I watched her video where she did the at home waxing and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try it because I have a bit of spare cash where I'm at home. I'm not driving, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. So let me just buy stuff that I've wanted to buy for a very long time and I'd, I've wanted to try waxing for a very long time. Um, I've never been waxed as well. I've never gone to a shop and been waxed. I don't know how I feel about someone pulling my hairs out my body and then me screaming because I will call the woman all the names under the sun and the little lady will feel really bad. So let me not. Let me try it at home first. So it comes, I believe it was about £47 and it comes with the pre-care cleansing gel. It came with the aftercare lotion it came with a packet a packet of wax strips <laughs> I've used them. I, I literally have one I have one wax strip left <laughs> I've had to order some more because like the first time I waxed I mean it was it was an experience but I didn't do it properly so hardly any hair come out and within a week there was hair like bing I'm back <laughs> in full effect so I've ordered some more wax strips and yeah when they come they come and then it come with um, the little spatulas I mean I don't know why I'm opening this it look that like, we all know what spatulas look like it come with a lot of spatulas so you won't need to necessarily reorder spatulas I would recommend it come with a hundred wax strips but I would definitely recommend when you order it definitely order extra wax strips like whether it's through this brand or through another brand order extra wax strips because <laughs> I used so many and sometimes I was like Shh, not one hair on it not one hair was on the wax strip and now the wax strip has got wax on it that I can't get off because it's got it's, order more wax strips please and extra wax as well because that's what I had to do let me put this box down um yeah so it came with the the, the pre gel the pre care cleansing gel and the aftercare lotion I'm gonna be real honest I haven't used this one I have not used this afterwards I um, used coconut oil and that was mainly because there was like excess wax on my skin and I googled how to get it off and people said coconut oil so that's what I did I I used this I believe I used this but I don't know if it did anything and I'm gonna be real I don't know if it did anything but I do use this prior I've used this twice and look look how much it is it's full up I think this just smells like regular lotion I mean it might be better to use this I'm not saying don't use it but to me it just smells like lotion and you want to get the wax off so I used um, coconut oil to remove the wax off my skin because there was excess wax everywhere so yeah it comes it's like this little part like this and then you can even if you get the little uh, wax pellets you can put the wet wax palette pellet, pellet in this little thing and it heats it up and whatnot and yeah then you put the lid on to preserve your leftover wax now I chose the option where you um, I'm going to show you the, the the new the new one because the old one looks a bit a bit junked up um, it comes like that it's the cream wax and you literally just take off the top and you remove the top of the um, the wax pot you remove this too you don't need that and you literally slap that in there like that take off the lid smack it on um i prefer that because the less i need to clean up at the end the better now this is my second tub like i said i've waxed previously using this um it did work like don't mean don't get me twisted it did work i just wasn't following the steps and i should have followed exactly what follow what it says to do because then you end up with the best results so I ended up using so much extra wax because I wasn't following the step. This is the old pot and look how far down it is there. It's down to here and I waxed twice and I just did my legs and my underarms. And I, I oh no, I did my underarms once and my legs twice. So that's not even that much and I've used pretty much the hot, this is so sticky. I've used the whole tub pretty much. Like there's like a quarter of the tub left. So I had to order another tub. So yeah, follow the steps is what I recommend. So yeah, those are all of my Amazon purchases. Oh no, it's not. Look, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. I also ordered, everywhere I look, there's more Amazon purchases. I've been spending some money, oh my God. 
um yeah i basically bought one of them facial silicone facial scrub rub cleaning scrubby scrub things um it just it just says super cool washing machine i literally just typed in silicone face facial something like that onto amazon and these came up i think i believe it's about 16 pounds um i've got a few uh i keep getting spots and scars and stuff or scars from the spots but i keep getting spots and um i basically want to give my skin a deeper clean so i invested in one of these that there is a brand who actually make these and it connects to your phone and whatnot but they're like i looked into it and they're like 70 80 pounds i'm not paying for 70 80 pounds for something that i might not even like so i'll buy the cheaper one first and see if i like the feeling of the silicone and then if i do oh excuse me itchy nose then if i do then i might invest in the more expensive thing but either way it vibrates and then it's got plus so it can go faster i don't know if you can see that can you hear it yeah and then it's got minus so it can go slower but the only thing is with this to charge it you literally have to unscrew the um the base of it and then um i thought it was just like there but no it's like you have to wedge up the silicone thing and the charging things like here at the back so that took me a minute to find so if you do um invest in one of these um yeah just make sure you know that you have to actually unscrew it to, to recharge it and dismantle it to recharge it because i was like how the freaking hell do i charge it um so yeah those are all my amazon and it come in a little cute box as well so once you've used it to keep it sanitary you can keep it in this little box and then you know nothing's going to touch it and then you're going to put it on your face and stuff like that it keeps it sanitary obviously you're not going to want to keep it in this box you're going to want to keep it out of that box because that box is not sanitary so yeah that's really good that's everything that I have bought on um, Amazon in the last two months-ish. Mm. So yeah, lockdown's got me... Um, I wasn't even a Prime member before lockdown. <laughs> I was not even a Prime member. I think I ordered stuff like willy-nilly when I felt like it. Now I'm a Prime member for life. I order Amazon at least two, three times a week. I will order something off of Amazon. I believe I have outstanding all so guys I'm editing my video I like literally editing my video and for some reason my outro is non-existent doesn't exist at all like it just stopped filming I'm not sure when it stopped filming it literally was at the end of the video stop filming cut out no outro so yeah anyway this is the quick outro it's the same day i literally have the same top on everything like i literally just removed my makeup and put my hair up because i've just had enough and i'm hot but anyways um because i didn't do an outro i'm gonna do it now so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and comment it really helps out the algorithm and all that stuff so yeah thank you see you in the next one guys bye